y'all welcome to my channel Ellery here forgot to record an intro for this video which is why I am dressed completely different and I have three new zits one with a sticker because it's a whole different day but we're just gonna play along with it okay welcome to my Halloween video this is part one part two will be on Yoshi's channel we are going to be obviously the Sanderson sisters and um I actually had fun making this. I was kind of skeptical about it at first. Didn't even want to do a Halloween video this year, but I said, I give you guys something every year. I can't not do something for Halloween, so. But I'm just gonna get right into it. But first, make sure you guys subscribe, hit that like button, and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. You can do that right now. Here's some waiting music. And I hope you enjoy the tutorial. All right, so I'm Winifred Sanderson. And basically all the witches makeup are pretty simple. They all just have something distinct about them. Like Winifred has her teeth and her hair and her little lips. So that's pr pretty much what I'm gonna focus on. Oh, and she has like really light eyebrows, which I really don't wanna take away my eyebrows, but I'm gonna try to just remember some stuff. You know, I ain't been in my makeup bag in a minute when it comes to all this Halloween stuff, you know what I'm saying? And then um, Sarah Sanderson has really dark eyebrows and the blonde hair. And then Mary Sanderson has obviously the alfalfa braid and she talks like this and she has a mole. So the makeup isn't really that big of a deal. So I'm gonna kind of just put my own little thing on it. Make it close, but not identical, obviously. And um, hope that we look something like these girls, cause you know, I'm a little dusty. So yeah, let's start with covering up these eyebrows. I haven't done this in a super long time. I don't necessarily remember how to do them, but we're about to wing it because you know what? Trust yourselves. I haven't even tweezed my eyebrows in a long time, so I'm about to cut these suckers down. All right, what do you do first? I think, oh, I need, okay, oh. Oh gosh, why am I having such brain farts? We need some glue. I think I glue them first, then I do a color corrector, and then I do the foundation, and then I do some uh, setting powder. Well, that's what I'm about to do. I don't know that's what I'm supposed to do. That's what I'm about to do. So, first I like to do, just rub the glue in all around so it gets in all the hairs first by going back and forth. And then I brush them out upwards so they're smooth. But I'm not gonna overdo it with the glue because I remember last time I did that, it was like, got bally and weird. So when I did my Betty Boop tutorial, that's like the best time I've ever glued my eyebrows down. But you know, I was prime time then, you know what I'm saying? Knew what I was doing. Not to say I don't know what I'm doing now though, you know. So if you really want an in-depth tutorial on how to cover up your eyebrows, if you don't know already know how, look up my Betty Boop Halloween tutorial. And I think that was one of the best times I got my eyebrows completely covered. And lightweight, one of my best Halloween tutorials, if I do say so myself. All right, now I'm gonna get some orange color corrector. Can't go wrong with LA Girls Pro Conceal. And I'm gonna gently paint this over the darkness of the brow. I'm trying to make everything really nice and light because you don't wanna make the layers too thick because if anything, you can build on it, but you don't want to start off super thick for sure. All right, now I need some translucent powder, which I have right here, the Laura Mercier. And I'm going to pat a little layer of powder over the orange. It's gonna fall out. Luckily, I'm getting my eyebrows done tomorrow. I mean, my eyelashes done tomorrow, so. I don't mind them getting a little messy, but you can obviously do it a little neater than I am. But it's translucent, so just dust it away. It's not gonna hurt ya. It's not gonna hurt ya. And then sometimes, I think what I did before, like when I did Betty Boop, I did like another layer of glue and then translucent powder again and then did the foundation. But I'm just gonna try to do one layer and just cross my fingers cause I don't wanna get carried away with the glue and then I gotta start all over, which I have had to do before. So I'm just gonna try to trust that this one layer will be enough. I'm looking like Doji Cat. All right, I'm dusting all the rest of this stuff away. Okay, and now I can go in with some foundation. I'm also gonna use a brush over my brows for the foundation, not a beauty blender, just so that 
it doesn't pick up anything a little blending brush this is my normal oh i'm ashy what's new this is my normal foundation that i've been using lately the nars soft matte macau medium deep foundation and i'm gonna dab some on the brush and blot over my brows I just realized I should have put on foundation primer first because I might as well just go in and put foundation all over my face now. <sighs> Told you I'm dusty. All right, work it. we're losing it, we're losing it. I'm gonna kind of blend it out on the outsides. And I'm very gently tapping over the brow. Not really swiping, I'm more just so blotting it but not too hard. And I'm kind of laying the foundation layer a little thicker over the actual hairs. But you don't want to keep going over it too much because that orange will be like, do you want me to come on out? Because I'll come out. All right, the eyebrows are covered. Normally, I would put primer on my face, but I should have did that first. But I'm not going to have this makeup on that long, so the primer is not a huge deal. I'm just going to add my concealer. I mean, add my uh, foundation just to even everything out because I'm a little I'm looking weird I'm gonna look weird anyway but I'm looking real weird right now so I normally would also use a brush since I already started with one but we're just gonna use my beauty blender because it's sitting right here but just like I said I'm not gonna go over my eyebrows with my beauty blender plus it's damp it would be a hot mess sometimes I just squeeze it right on my face okay I still have a little tint on my eyebrows but I'm kind of liking it like that because my hair is going to be red anyway so i'm just going to add another layer of translucent powder over them so they're not so shiny actually let's just go ahead and add translucent powder on our whole face because we're supposed to be a little flat i'm not trying to be pasty but i just want like flat i still want to be black though okay Winifred Sanderson Jenkins. That's who I am, okay? Okay, so now I'm just going to pencil in some eyebrows. Now her eyebrows are like very tragic. Let me see. I feel like on the remake you can see them better, but like in the old movie, they were like almost non-existent. Yeah, it was like her eyebrows were blonded out and she just had on like a dark shadow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a really dark brown shadow that one right here this is from the huda beauty nude rich palette but you can use any dark eyeshadow and i'm going to kind of like start from in here and curve up all around and see what happens because like i said i'm just winging it but for the most part she just had like a that gave her eye a little definition like she wasn't all the way tragic you know yeah that's not too bad right it's giving me like brow bone realness or no i don't know y'all <laughs> why did i decide to do this i'd be having all these ideas and then being like who thought of that why would i do that all right let's just do the other eye and see this isn't like one of your typical makeup tutorials where you want it to look perfect you don't, you don't even have to do this you could literally put on some green eyeshadow and be you know a little glam when afraid which is what i was thinking about doing i was gonna do like a really pretty whimsical green eyeshadow and be like a uh, a glamour witch but i just decided to you know be the og witch you know show her some respect all right i have glue on my eyelids and it keeps peeling off which is pulling off my eyeshadow it doesn't want me to be great but we'll just deal with that later the other distinctive thing about her makeup is these little circles of pink blush that she had on so so i have this really really pink blush from colourpop literally about to get like a circular br brush and like stamp my cheek okay okay am i giving winifred or am i giving clown at this point because what is happening this is a, like a little too pink i should have got something with a little more red in it all right so i'm gonna use this middle one this is from alamar cosmetics I'm just go right over what I have. Yeah, that, yeah, you see that? See how that's like really pink and that's kind of like more of a zebra pink. All right, now obviously I have to do my lips, but before I do my lips, I want to see how this wig looks because y'all have not taken it out the bag yet. I don't know what it looks like. I didn't fluff it out or nothing. And I got it from Amazon, so you know that's a hit or miss. So let me take the wig out. Okay, with some little earrings. This necklace, which I'm about to put on. 
I'll link it in the, oh, it looks like the eyeball from the boop. This is actually, now that I'm actually doing it, a really quick Halloween costume. Like you don't even have to cover your eyebrows. You can just put on some messy shadow, some pink blush. I haven't done my lips yet, obviously, but it's actually a little faster than I thought it was gonna be. Let's see how it looks on my big head. Never been a redhead before. Actually, I have, I have. Nice to wear all my colorful wigs. Uh-oh, uh-oh, Winifred is coming out, y'all. It's a little small for my big head, but it's part a little nappy, but you know, she been locked up, you know, for a little while, so she ain't had time to get her edges done or whatnot. Actually, I forgot I have to pick up Yoshi from school, so. <laughs> I'm gonna do my lipstick when I get back. I'm already gonna be hiding myself in a hoodie so I don't embarrass her. But um, I'm gonna pick her up, put my cape on, do my lipstick, and then I'll show you all the sisters together. And make sure, don't forget, this is not the end of the tutorial part two, which is gonna be on Yoshi's channel. I'm posting both video videos at the same time so you don't have to wait. Part two is gonna be on her channel where I show you transforming them into Mary and Sarah San San Sanderson. Sanderson, yes. So you're gonna get a tutorial on all the Sanderson sisters. I'm just doing mine on my channel. You check out hers transformation on her channel. But I'm still not done, so don't leave me yet. Hold on. All right, now I got my cape on. Only thing I'm missing out is the lips. So let's do that, oh, and the teeth. Let's do the lips first. And this is the easy part. I'm just drawing the lips inside of my lips. All right, so this lip liner, these are both from uh, KVD Beauty. This is Outlaw and this is Tulip. All right, and about these teeth, let me wash my hands before I get to these teeth. I'm kind of confused. It didn't, oh, it does have instructions. I thought it didn't. Boiling water. It says put 12 to 15 of the pellets, these little balls, into boiling water. Prepare a stick. Once they congeal, pull them out of the water with the stick and smash them into the tooth cap. Then put the tooth cap in your, okay. That's a lot, <laughs> um, and I'm not actually going to a Halloween party right now, so I don't actually want them to be stuck in my teeth. I kind of just want to see what they're gonna look like. Let's see if they'll stay even a little bit without the pellets. That would be ideal. Mm -mm. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I think if I did stick them on, they're actually a really good color. I thought they were gonna look nothing like my teeth. I can't talk in them, obviously, because they're not stuck on, but you get the idea. And I'm getting red lipstick like all over them, but. Do I look like Winifred, do you? One thing I will say, this wig is not for the big headed sisters. It is showing my little edges, but overall, this is the look. I think I did rather well. I'm not sure, but it's not much to it, you know? I definitely should have wore a liquid matte lipstick because my teeth are going to be red, darling. Boo! Should I put a spill on now? I have a few people in mind, actually. <laughs> I put a spell on you, and now you're mine. I'm ready for my close up. Close up cameras, where are you? <laughs> Something wrong with me. I think the main thing with Halloween costumes, like for me, even if they're like not spot on, is for people to know who you are. And I feel like this costume, it's obvious. <laughs> If I was to go to a party that people will know who I am, especially if I had these teeth in. I definitely will link everything in the caption on both my video and Yoshi's video. And like I said, the other sisters are gonna be on Yoshi's channel. This is part one of just me. I didn't wanna cram everything all into one video. So if you wanna see how theirs turned out and their commentary, because I did ask them a bunch of fun questions while I was doing their makeup, make sure you check out Yoshi's channel. It's up, I put them both up at the same time so you can keep the flow going, all right? Thank you guys for watching my Halloween tutorial. And if you wanna see what I actually am, I'm going to a Halloween party this Saturday. If you wanna see what I actually am going to be for Halloween, check out my Instagram, it will be up there. I'll do a quick tutorial there and show you the reveal of who I'm actually going to be on Halloween. And I hope it turns out great. And of course, follow me on TikTok, subscribe, and um, thank you guys for watching. Until next year, goodbye. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching our tutorial. We hope you enjoyed. Right, sisters? Yes, yes sister. You had fun? Yes. What'd you do it again?
No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, oh, darling. <laughs> hey, hey, darling. We're not rude again. You guys want to go to go share some cakes? Yes, I do. Let's go steal oh, some children. Let's steal their souls. <laughs> You're standing on my, on my cake. She's you guys are scaring me, both of you. Until next time, love ya. Love ya. <laughs> Lock up your children. <laughs> She's getting really into this.